Hi, welcome to my video. This week I'm sharing a what I ate in a day video. It's been a while since I've made one of these and in Ambala we tend to do a lot of eating. Our day typically starts with chai and we do drink chai about four or five times a day. Sometimes I'll make it or mummy or Bobby will make it and we usually have our chai with digestive biscuits. I did manage to get most of the chai into the cups, but I attribute any spillage to the fact that that pot has no handle. Breakfast takes place about an hour to an hour and a half later. Toast, fruit, or cereal are never on the menu. It's typically something much heavier. And my brother-in-law is already in the office, so he doesn't have breakfast with us. He also never seems to eat the same thing as us. And since we've most likely already had at least one round of chai, it is not typical for us to have chai with breakfast. We usually have something else. And then once my brother-in-law is fed, we usually set about making our own breakfast. And this morning, breakfast was methi roti. And I have a recipe for methi roti on my channel, so I will be sure to link that. And I've also linked the recipe for chai. And the mystery food that I couldn't identify at the beginning it was something called mutia. It's a Gujarati snack that mummy was experimenting with for a cooking class that she's going to be hosting next month. I'm very happy that I'm visiting Ambala in the winter times, which is famous for fresh salsoka sag and makhivi roti and freshly fluffed butter, which is made from home milk that we get from dairy every day. Makhi di roti, the salsa da saag is bae. Shredded radish. It has a pungency to it. Don't ask me why I like that, but I love it. Makhi di roti and sarson da saag is a very typical Punjabi combination. The saag is lovely, you would love it. It's not something that I grew up eating. But I have really come to appreciate this combination of mustard greens and a corn-based roti. You get some of the freshest greens during the winter months here, and this is very much a winter dish. It's not something that is typically eaten during the summer. Oh, and you have to put the makhan on top as well, the freshly made white butter. Without that, this combination is incomplete. Something that Pranav and I are both really fond of is Golgape. It's also called Pani Puri or Puchka in different parts of India. It's a puffed canapé that you fill with chickpeas and potato and then flavored water. Mummy makes it at home for us. We used to be able to eat this in the bazaar, but we got food poisoning the last several times, and so we've really learned our lesson. We have it at home where the water is filtered, and that way we're sure not to get sick. This evening we went out for dinner. During Diwali, a really popular game to play is Matka. If you saw our Diwali vlog, then you saw Pranav play that game. Well, I played too and I won big, so I decided to treat our family to dinner at a local restaurant. Jen Soda Water Factory has been around since the 40s. As long as I've known this place, the menu's never changed. Uh, you get Chinese and you get Chinese. Yes. You get South Indian. Anybody wants mushroom duple? I would love mushroom duple. For a restaurant in a small town, this place has a remarkable selection of items and a pretty big Hindi film was even shot in this restaurant. This is, it's the extra nourishment drink for people of Ambala. Full of sugar, but wait it. Mm. 
We got married in Ambala, and when my family and I came here for the wedding, we stayed in the hotel across the street. It was very common for us to eat two out of our three meals at this restaurant. In fact, the day before our wedding, I came to this restaurant with full bridal mehndi on my hands and ate an entire pizza all by myself. Before becoming a restaurant, this place used to serve ice creams, sodas, floats, and shakes. And their most popular item, which is still on the menu today, is the pineapple ice cream. Thanks so much for spending time with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Was that a yes or no? <laughs> well, yes, I know. I do hope you will subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Monday and Thursday, although I'm probably going to miss this Thursday because we'll be in transit. So I'll see you next week then. Bye bye. <laughs> Na jo da ho, kabhi kuch.